right, let's get it started. Three, two, one, Guess who's the stage? Go. And T-Rex setting out the Hydra, just creating the wall and just the gun is trying to get the combos and Cosmos getting past the Galaga. Which is huge, that's pretty much the most damaging kind of option that Pac-Man has. Yes. Yeah, and the ability to just avoid that combo scenario and just like say, yo, I don't have, I'm not gonna get hit by this. So you can get your like true combo starters is amazing against Pac-Man. Yeah, I mean, Cosmos is looking great right now. Oh, got hit yeah. eventually. Avoided the second hit though, so not too much damage. Good stuff coming in from Cosmos. Yeah. And we see Cosmos keep trying to land with like an aerial of some sort. And he's now scouting it and just counter hitting him for it. Yeah, T no slouch when it comes to adjusting on the fly. Cosmos, unfortunately, at the receiving end of that right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Caught it. But it can't spot that side ground. He free fell after because of Hydra yeah. pushed him up. That's yeah. hilarious. I, I think that's a setup that we might just end up seeing. If Cosmos ends up going, trying to up B in those situations, the Hydra might just end up pushing him off. All right, still avoiding the bell. Yeah. T has it though, and you know that T wants to hit you with the bell to into that confirmation yeah. of a smash attack. I'm actually really surprised T threw the bell in that situation. I do know a lot of Pac-Man do like to wait for you to hit the shield and then just immediately throw a bell. Ooh, both players right now just so smart, but T one step ahead just barely and gonna take the first stop. Yeah, just able to close it out right there. Right now, just going, setting up shop. I do like the fact that T just backs off second um, neutral starts again, and he's like, "Okay, I don't, I don't want to mess with Pyro or Mithra. You're gonna come to me, and I'm just gonna try to find a counter hit option." And that's Cosmo's been getting hit almost every single time. What we're trying to do that. Still at 145 percent. I mean. Cosmo's not able to get that killing blow. Switching to, oh, I mean, switching back and forth. I guess it really doesn't matter which Aegis character you're using at the moment, to be honest, yeah. at this kill range. Oh, okay, forward though? Oh. Yeah, the Hydra just slowing you down, just not able to get there in time. Oh, good F2. Yeah, able to close it out. Damage kind of been done, but that's okay. One, one eleven, make a wish, man. Uh, Cosmos did make a wish. He was to survive that hydrant. <laughs> oh, but he of course, you only get one wish. You yeah. can't survive the back air. It's not, it's not a genie. <laughs> yeah, and now we got T with the combo starter. Oh, and the drift. That is Can so messed up. Uh, like oh, it's clean. Yeah, just like the ability to like he got grabbed, but right out the LP, so he just couldn't hold on to it. Slippery Pac-Man. Yeah. Oh, this damage is just racking up. I mean, T, it was looking a little scary maybe in the beginning of the game, but boy, did that change quickly. And the forward smash read from the platform? Yeah, that was so good. I thought Aegis had foresight. It's T. Yeah, no, you can't see that coming. Oh, man. So, T taking game one, and... He, the fact that the Kazuya is just looming in the background, it's just so scary to like counterpick certain stages. Because he can just leave certain stages open and counterpick right there, but still gonna hold on to Pac-Man while we go to town and city. I mean, you have no reason not to. Cosmos needs to show that he has an answer first. Alright. There we go. It's the only song I like. <laughs> I don't Let's listen see. to these songs while I play. When you, when you commentate enough. That's true. That's true. They are there. They are there. Yeah. Ooh, really interesting interaction right there from Cosmos. But managed to find that combo. Yeah, it's, that was like off like, a stray hit. Yeah, it looked like it was jab, and then he came back on with an aerial afterwards. All right, and yeah, dealing 57% on the T. But T is no stranger to slowing things down and just playing this game. That is a Pac-Man gift. Yeah. They will slow anything down if they need to. Good catch. Not going to take the stock. I mean, uh, you all know it's just a little weak, let's be honest. Yeah. Great right. grab, though. Down air attempt. 
Oh, not just yet. I love the adjustments right there from T. Kind of fainted as, as he was going to hit the hydrant again, but yeah. then actually jumped up immediately went for that aerial. Right, back throw. And I like, the, I like the trap, just keeping T in the corner right there. Oh, but a bit overaggressive right there. Oh, my gosh. All that hard work, all of that corner pressure just for T to hit you with the bell and make you explode off the left side of the stage. That's all right. Pyra is there just to clean up the stocks. So two stocks apiece. What are we going to see? I mean, whoever swings first, I don't know. Cosmos found a quick opening, only 20% though. Slight advantage, nothing really that matters at the moment. Nothing to ride on about. And just, I like the fact that Cosmos is sharking T and is keeping him in the corner and is not giving him a lot of stage to play with. Even with the Hydrant, it, Hydrant is just basically like a block off. So once you put the Hydrant at the ledge, it, it's virtually useless at that point. Yeah. Jumping over the melon, throwing it out. I mean... Good damage, though. Yeah, down throw up. Still a little work right there. <laughs> T, T had plans, okay? Yeah. He, he saw a future. <laughs> There's a lot of timelines. <laughs> that one wasn't one. Of them. Yeah. Dr. Strange did not suggest that one, okay? <laughs> so that bell, I mean, you cannot get hit. I think you live even if you're hit by the bell at the moment. Oh, not at 81, no. not at the ledge. The worst case scenario coming into play for Cosmos right there. And that's happened twice so far. Oh, that smash. I think you could have switched to Pyra actually and got a forward smash off. Maybe. Pyra's forward smash is kind of slow, slower, so. Oh my god. Pyra's so strong. Oh, yeah, he did not want it to break right there. But that should close it out. And 2 OT. Wow. I mean, T is looking fantastic. You don't need Kazuya when your Pac Man's playing yeah. like this. Nah, you would not think he had like a counter pick. You would have thought you could win all these matches with this Pac Man the way he's playing right now. Looks like he can normally. Yeah. Because this is not one of the Pac Man's best matchups. To fight like on paper, but T's making this work. Three, two, one, go! All right, Cosmos, it, it's now or never if you want to stay in this winner's bracket. All right, so we can kill it. Still doing a good job at avoiding the Galica, so yeah. that is good, but there's just so many other things that T has. T isn't your typical Pac-Man that, you know, just has a bunch of tricks. T has neutral, T has reads, and that's why it's so difficult for Cosmos to find an opening. Yeah. He's not, like, just set up, set up. He, he's just playing around you while setting up these traps. And he's disrespecting you. He grabbed you in front of the fire hydrant. Yeah. like, I'm going to let you break out, okay? I don't need to throw you right now. All right, try to punish that down to with a hydrant. Bell action, not able to find him. Mark went for a read. Oh, yeah, that's some good damage. Yeah, that's 23 right there. <laughs> 52 yeah. to 81. Yeah. Slight advantage to T, but it, it just always feels like Cosmos is playing on the back foot. Yeah, and I do like when Cosmos does stand under it. The, they're just trying to say, yo, just trying to say, yo, you can't come back 4 3, but T just. Always ends up finding a way back because Cosmos A, a tries to overset or just able to not able to get the punish. And T taking the first stock with T that. T is belt. teeing off. <laughs> T is teeing off on Cosmos right now. I'd hate to be the player going up against him. I mean, what do you do? How do you slow him down? You don't. Well, I, was, I guess you could blow him up, set him yeah. on fire. A little bit of hope for Cosmos. But you have so much more work to do. All right. I like the dash bags. Yeah, and Bell online. Again, you, you can at least take one more Bell hit without dying. Yeah. All right. 
What are we going to see right here? Up B. And now the ledge trap begins. And this is starting to look up for Cosmos. This able the ability to keep T at this corner. If he can t close out the stock before losing his own. Oh, what was that situation? And now T just taking advantage of that. Just at one point being in the grab, but Hydrant, I guess, just breaking him out and just capitalizing on it. And this is just not looking good. And Cosmos, I mean, what do you do? You just do your best, man. Oh, oh man, your okay. best it will serve you just right. Still firing back. I mean, Cosmos is down, not out by any means. Some sure. people rise to the occasion. Cosmos trying to do just that. Big uh, damage. Yeah, able to make it back. 46%. On T. Oh my god, that works. <laughs> and T's just like... I'll just frustrate him. Cosmos at this point, because Cosmos is now just jumping in more blindly, just trying to find an answer. Seeing the spot dodges, and yeah, that's it. And T 3 0 over Cosmos, no pop off needed, saying, hey, crew battles was cool against the Kazuya, but uh, what you gonna do about my Pac Man? Yeah. You and have an answer for this? I almost wonder if the fact he played Kazuya yesterday is why he went Pac-Man today. It might be, actually. Because he 